Hello, welcome. I need to get a little information from you. How many of you are there? One player? Good. Competition only slows down the game. Are you a first time? Back for more punishment, are you? Oh, just kidding. We all love you here. You should be typing in your name now. Poor thing. Didn't your parents give you any consonants when you were born? Too bad. As you know, your buzzer is the key with the B on it. Get ready, because you're going to feel blind for a second here. Oh, and try not to lose your shirt or pants. It's time for the show where high culture and pop culture collide. This episode of You Don't Know Jack is sponsored by Sherman's Deprivation Tanks. Deprive yourself for a change. And now, please welcome your host, Guy Towers! Okay, welcome to the game. I'll try to speak very clearly so you can hear me, you stone deaf freak. Alrighty, guys, the name Deprivation's the game. Let's do it, okay? How much will this one be worth? Hit that button. This one's called. I'm not buck naked, I'm clothing deprived. Here comes the questione. If you wanted to deprive a person of their clothing, what should you do to them? De-strip them, denude them, denake them, or debuff them? Uh, Alex, I'll take wrong answers for 500, please. Hey, you should de-idiot yourself. The word denude means to strip bare. But uh, please don't do it now, though. I just ate. Hit your buzzer and snap. Get ready for... What are you depriving yourself of for Lent? Okay, here's the deal with Lent. Basically, Lent lasts for 40 days, and it starts on Ash Wednesday, which is the day after Shrove Tuesday, or Mardi Gras. The fifth Sunday of Lent is known as Passion Sunday, and after that, you got your Palm Sunday, which is the Sunday before Easter, which starts the Holy Week, which is the last week leading up to Easter. And finally, Lent ends at midnight on Holy Saturday, which is the day before Easter. And uh, I, I think you're not supposed to eat fish or something. I don't know. Anyway... On what day does Lent begin? Shrove Tuesday, Ash Wednesday, Palm Sunday, or Mardi Gras? Kick Ash! When you start seeing people with the charcoal on their foreheads, you know it's Lent. Either that or you're in the midst of a forest fire. Alrighty, buzz in. And the category is... Hell Week deprived my brain of oxygen. Hey, you know the term hazing? You know, the bizarre rituals that fraternity and sorority pledges go through before they're members of the house? Yeah. Well, if you were to do some hazing back in the Old West, who or what would be your pledges? Cattle, sagebrush, barmaids, or clerks from the general store? In the Old West, hazing meant driving cattle across the prairie with a paddle. All right, smack your buzzer and let's see what dollar value you can snap. Good picking. All right, what do we got here? Dumb guy at the opera. All right, now's your chance to see some daylight here, okay? So make it count. If you score front row tickets to Phantom Limb of the Opera, what might be your comment after the show? It was twice as long as any other show. I can see why nobody sees this anymore. Oh wait, I thought I saw it, but I didn't. Or, that sure was a scary tree. No one sees it anymore? No, that might be your reaction after seeing Vestigial Limb of the Opera. The correct answer is... Phantom limb syndrome happens when a person loses a limb, but feels like they still have it. So, you might think you saw it when you really didn't. Or more likely, you'll see it and wish you'd gone to the ball game instead. Hit that buzzer and let's check. This one will be... Drinks are on the guy bleeding from his eyes. Poor Oedipus. He can't see anymore. Well, I guess that's what he gets for gouging his own eyes out. 
If the Greek mythological figure Oedipus had literally wanted to drink himself blind, which of these could he have imbibed? His own blood, a methyl milkshake, a few ethanol shots, or an entire bottle of rum? Uh, sorry Blackbeard, but you obviously don't understand the use of the word literally in the question there. Huh, maybe you didn't see this one. Methyl is a very toxic form of alcohol that's known to cause blindness when drunk. Hey everybody, drinks are on me! Happy Mother's Day! Oh. Alright, buzz in and let's see what kind of- Bingo! There was a dog who ate too much and vomits what he did, oh! <laughs> 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 Welcome to Vomit! Oh. Don't forget, buzz in on the first letter of the correct answer to win the cash. And the bonus is yours if you can grab all five letters. We're going! Paint thinner! Oh my god, it's turpentine! Terrible headache! Migraine! Pepto-Bismol cures it! Nice bonus! Alright, get a load of you. Ah, let's keep going. How much cash? Woohoo! Mucho dinero! Okay, here she is. Merlin Olsen sold me. What, do you like being in debt? Pay attention here. If you ordered your sweetie a bouquet from Flowers in the Attic Florist, what will be delivered to his or her home? Children, ghosts, fugitives, or old photographs? <laughs> Just for the record, here's the right answer. Sorry. In the V.C. Andrews novel, Flowers in the Attic, four children are locked in an attic by their grandmother. So, remind your sweetie to water the children, otherwise they're gonna wilt. Hold that buzzer, let's see how much cash you can get. And for your viewing pleasure... Crazy little thing called Bohemia. Okay, you remember that Queen song, Bohemian Rhapsody? Or if you're too young, uh, remember Wayne's World? Well... Which of these lines from the Queen song, Bohemian Rhapsody, best describes the subject matter of the opera, La Boheme? Beelzebub has a devil put aside for me. I'm just a poor boy, I need no sympathy. Galileo, 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 or put a gun against his head. La Boheme is about a bunch of starving artists who sing lots of words that nobody understands. And Queen is a bunch of rich artists who sing lots of words that nobody understands. Hit that buzzer and let's see that... Huh. Well, it's better than nothing. And it's gonna be called... Johnny Crack Joke, and I don't care. Okay, see if he can figure out this analogy. Johnny Carson is to Joan Rivers as... Fox is to NBC, Jay Leno is to Jay Leno, Sizzling is to breakfast, or Sugar is to NutraSweet. Jay Leno is to Jay Leno. Yep, he certainly is. <laughs> Should have picked this one. Just as Joan Rivers used to sub for Johnny Carson, NutraSweet is a sugar substitute, which uh, as of yet is not retired. <laughs> Tickle your buzzer and let's see how much cash you're going to be playing for. Nice pick. It's time for a diss or dash. This this or dad's category name is Bono Rule. Okay, listen up. I'm going to read off seven expressions. And for each one, I want you to tell me if the expression starts with the word with or with the word without. 
cash in for each one you get right, but you lose out for each one you get wrong or that you don't get to. You got 30 seconds to nail all seven. And we're up. With or without it, bring us off. Flying color. Further ado. Bell's on. Fail. A bang. I'm hot to piss in. Six right, one wrong. Not too shabby. Okay, my friend, there's your score. Uh, let's see what you can do to it. Hit your buzzer and snag the cash. There you go, nice. Okay, here's your category. Used to be that a rubber hose was all you needed. So, uh, you probably watched enough police shows in your time to be familiar with the Miranda rights, right? You know, you have the right to remain silent, you have the right to do whatever. Well... Which of the following would not be another way that arresting officers could Mirandize a suspect? Send him to one of the moons of Uranus, turn him into a Venezuelan revolutionary, make him wear a fruit basket on his head, or worship him as the Roman goddess of art? No, one of the 15 moons of Uranus is called Miranda. Huh, moons, Uranus? You don't even really need me on this one, do you? All right, up against the wall. The Roman goddess of the arts is not Miranda, but Minerva. The Greeks and Pete Townsend call her Athena. How much will this... Hey, that'll work. All right, here's your category. This is the answer. Okay, gang, this here's going to be a fill-in-the-blank question, so uh, prepare to type. Ready? Answer this. Talk to me, talk. You heard me. I said answer this. See, it pays to listen. I mean, not really, but it does give you an artificial moment of self-esteem. And hey, how often do you achieve even that much in the course of your pitiful life, huh? Hit that buzzer and let's check. think I'd deprive you of a clue? Well, here's one anyway. What do I have if I don't have you? Huh? A life. So can you hurry up and finish this game? Come on. Oh, and uh, good luck. Alright, let's see your final score. El Stinko!